good everyone this is Jonathan Mathis the sports judge welcome to my sports channel thank you guys for tuning in as always thank you to all my loyal viewers and listeners without you guys none of this is possible I thank you guys for supporting the channel that is awesome there is breaking news in the NBA yes in the National Basketball Association if you guys haven't heard by now, I'm glad to break the news. It is regarding Kyrie Irving. Yes, Kyrie Irving asked to be traded from the Brooklyn Nets again. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he wants out of Brooklyn. Should we be surprised? Not at all. Because we know how Kyrie Irving is. We know that this is a guy who can't make up his freaking mind. He doesn't know what he wants to do with himself. One minute, he's fully committed. The next minute, he's not committed at all. This is a guy who you clearly can't trust. And as great of a player he is, I wouldn't want any parts of him. I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even bother to call the Brooklyn Nets to see what they can offer in in return for Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is doing it once again. This is this is one of his classy moves, right? Is to say he doesn't want to be a part of an organization anymore when it doesn't go his way, when it doesn't work out. He wants to run from his problem. Well, Kyrie Irving, your problems are going to follow you regardless, wherever you land, ahead of the trade deadline. You take your problems with you. Your problems are not going to magically go away or disappear because you take your ball and try it out with a new city. It, it, it doesn't work like that, Kyrie Irving. But Kyrie Irving is a guy that you cannot trust. And I know when he's laser focused. And when he's locked in. He is clearly one of the most skill, skillful players in the league. There's no denying that. We all know that about Kyrie Irving. We all know how great of a player Kyrie Irving can be. I don't think anyone has ever doubted that. No one ever doubted Irving's competitiveness. No one ever questioned his scoring ability or ball handling skills. Because he's, he's one of the league's best players when he doesn't take time off. And when he actually plays. And when he's actually not... Making it all about him. So now he's at the center of the attention again. Because he is requesting a trade. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now. This is going to be the story until the trade deadline. This is going to be an ongoing saga. Until he gets officially traded from the Brooklyn Nets. The question to me. Is, is he really serious about continuing his career as an NBA player? The question remains as to how high is basketball on Kyrie Irving's priority list? Nobody knows. Hell, I don't th even think he knows. I if we flash back to last season, this is a guy who missed a lot of games. Too many, which costs the team many nights. And with him being a, a vital piece to his team, especially in the playoffs, where his services were desperately needed, he was confined to the sidelines and street clothes. Um, and when the Brooklyn Nets got eliminated in the first round of playoffs and got swept by the Boston Celtics, you might remember that Kyrie Irving didn't take accountability. Why would I want 
like this guy on my team. The problem is he might not be capable of doing what's been asked of him to do. And that's to show up and play. Some nights he wants to show up and play. Other nights he wants to take off. Some nights he half ass it. That's who he is. And he opens himself to criticism. He opens himself to criticism. This is an unstable business partner. This is a guy I wouldn't want to do business with. I wouldn't want to do business with Kyrie Irving. And I know the Lakers are already linked to him. I know the Lakers have expressed interest in him along with the Dallas Mavericks. But to be quite honest, I think both teams are better without him. He's too much of a headache. He's too much of a problem child. He's been a problem everywhere he's been. He's been a problem everywhere he's been. And he's going to come to a city near you and he's going to create a ruckus. He's going to divert attention away from the game of basketball and thrust himself in the spotlight. Like he always does. Because he's a diva. He's a diva. This is a guy who didn't work out in Cleveland. He was a bust in Cleveland. Although. He did help deliver a championship. Playing alongside LeBron James. That's probably where he wants to end up. With the Los Angeles Lakers. He probably wants to play alongside LeBron James again. Those two probably reconsoled their differences and he is willing to, to make up after they broke up. And we all know too well that these NBA players nowadays, they assume a lot of power. And they can, also, they can almost dictate anywhere they want to play in the league now. They have that much leverage now, a lot of these players. So, since he seems to be disgruntled, since he seems to be unsatisfied with his current situation in Brooklyn, Brooklyn is willing to move on from him, and I think they have grown tired of him. I think they're over the antics. I think they're over over his behavior. And so now after failing to negotiate terms on a long-term contract extension with the organization, the Brooklyn star Kyrie Irving has issued a trade request to the franchise. And Irving will become a free agent, by the way, this summer. So the Lakers, the Mavericks, and the Suns expect to explore the possibility of a deal with Brooklyn. And I think, honestly, like I've been saying all along, I think he wants to play with the Lakers. But if I'm the Lakers, I wouldn't even entertain this trade offer. I wouldn't. Because, again, Kyrie Irving is unreliable. He's untrustworthy. He's unstable. And if you want to win championships, that will require consistent play from Kyrie Irving. That means he can't take any nights off and must fully commit and show up and play. It's that simple. Show up and play. Suit up. Get your ass out there and play. You know, and, 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 and that's why the Nets struggled to put it all together last season because of a daunting stretch in Kyrie Irving's absence. And that was because he refused to play as he remained unvaccinated. What's his excuse this time? 
I feel like every time something happens in this world, Kyrie Irving wants to be an activist. Every time there's a social injustice issue in this country, he uses that as an, as an excuse to not play basketball. He has an occupation, and that is to play basketball. That's what he signed his contract to do, is play basketball. And now, because of a contract dispute, all of a sudden, he wants to whine and pout. But that's nothing new. He's been whining and pouting for a very long time now. Kyrie Irving needs a pacifier in his mouth. I got plenty of them. I have a two-year-old. I have a toddler. I got plenty of them. If he needs a pacifier, I would kindly give him one. But this man comes with too much baggage. I don't care how talented he is. But understandably so, talent sometimes trumps everything else. So there will be a team desperate enough to package a deal, mortgage their future, give up a lot of first round, first rounders or give up a player just to acquire Kyrie Irving. Because at the end of the day, he is a good player. But you got to keep in your mind that this guy can also bail out on you at any given time too, under any type of circumstances. Because that's what we've seen from Kyrie Irving. We're all witnesses to it. We all know this much about Kyrie Irving. We know that sometimes his mind isn't there. That he's not mentally and physically there. That he's not always focused on basketball. His mind is in too many places at one time. So that's why I wouldn't touch Kyrie Irving. Personally, if I'm the general manager, if I'm a general manager, and if I'm an owner, a team owner, I wouldn't even think about touching Kyrie Irving. But that's just me, though. Everyone else has their own personal opinion about it, of course. Again, the breaking news out of the NBA today is that Kyrie Irving has requested a trade out of Brooklyn. He appears to be unhappy with his current state. And... He wants to play elsewhere in the second half of the NBA season. Thank you guys for watching. Before I go, I just want to make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button. So please uh, do that if you guys can. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. If you guys want to see more content from me, and if you guys really like this video, again, hit the subscribe button. Like and share this content. Thank you guys so much. We'll talk very, very soon. I'll be back in another video sometime today. If not today, for sure tomorrow. I want to give you guys my top five most underrated NBA players this season. My top five most underrated NBA players. If not sometime tonight, definitely tomorrow morning. Till next time, you guys take care. You guys have a great Friday. Peace out, everyone.